Hey everyone, this is Jimmy. I'm the lead designer over here with the Badger Maps team. Today I want to talk about fixing up a messy spreadsheet. So we've designed Badger so that it can handle a lot of errors and mistakes within a spreadsheet, but it's pretty hard to account for everything. So I wanted to take a minute to show you how to make a nice spreadsheet that we can easily work with. So here's my spreadsheet. We've got Grumpy Cat on the first sheet because who doesn't like Grumpy Cat? And we've got my data here on the second sheet. So the first problem is my data is on the second sheet. We have to assume at Badger that the data that you want us to map is on that first sheet. Otherwise, it's, it's really impossible for us to find within a multi-sheet document. So make sure to have your data on that first page. I'll go ahead and move my data over here. Cool. So we've also got scrambled addresses and names all, all over the place here, um, but we'll get to that in a second. First thing I see here is that we have hidden rows. Hidden rows are bad. Uh, when uploading to us, we really uh, we can't tell that the rows are supposed to be hidden, and we'll try and map them anyway, or try and try and encode them and work with them. Um, so if you have any kind of formatted data in here, like uh, you know an explanation of the document, or you have stuff in there that you just you didn't want and but you thought you might need for later, that can uh, that can definitely screw up our encoder. So. Um, Let's unhide these and get rid of them. Cool, yeah. So this kind of thing, this kind of thing would have would have messed us up. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these out. Cool. All right. So now we have some weird header names. Uh, this might have been because we exported from another piece of software, or uh, you know, we just had some archival headers in here from when this this document was first created. Um, either way, we want to take care of these. We want to make them more descriptive. So company and then contact, those are fine. But build a two, build a three, uh, build a four, those are those are no good. So let's go ahead and make these um, more descriptive. I'm going to change this to address. I'm going to change this to city, state, zip. Uh, number's fine. Uh, address, we don't want to have two uh, columns with the address name in there. So we're going to change this to email. Um, this one, this one's pretty empty. Um, I'm not really seeing much in here, and uh, the only thing that is in here looks like a mistyped address. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna remove these two columns entirely. Okay, cool. All right. So the the next thing here is that we have we have just this mostly blank line in here, but it has a dash in this first column. Um, this kind of thing can sometimes uh, cause things to hiccup because we don't know what the dash is. So let's go ahead, dash, or it might be any kind of other formatting. Um, this line isn't doing us any favors anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. All right, cool. So the next thing that stands out to me um, when we've got errors in this document is that we've got uh, the suite in the address field. So um, a lot of geocoders just can't... Uh, they can't parse out the idea of like a sweet name or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and I'm gonna put it into its own column because I still I still wanna have that information on that customer. So I'm gonna make a column called sweet. And that'll make it so that in the data on our customer, we'll still be able to see that even if it's uh, not part of the address. And uh, that, that way I don't lose track of it. I'll do the same thing for this one here. Now, some of these other ones we have, you know, it looks like mistyped addresses and cities and stuff like that. So we want to move those into their correct uh, columns. And another thing that is going to uh, cause this difficulty is not having names for the primary field. So, you know, my contact uh, could potentially change, but the company that, you know, I'm going to try and map here is generally going to stay the same. And the way Badger works, we really need kind of like a primary name for whatever account, and uh, we need uh, a mappable address. So these really need to be solid. Um, so I want to fill in any blanks here. Uh, looks like they work at Sharbra. So I will fill that in there. This one, I will make that Pazdarsky, uh, et cetera. And I can fill these out. Same thing with. Um, these other mistyped areas in here, this looks like this was supposed to be here. Um, we can go through it and fix all these, but we really, we kind of want these to make sense within the context of uh, our data. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over to a fixed version of the spreadsheet. And uh, that is here. And this is, this is really like a pretty perfect uh, spreadsheet. We don't really have any gaps in our data. 
Um, everything's filled out. We don't expect you to, to be this perfect. Um, you know, having gaps in your data is fine, but we really, in order for the customers to map correctly, we do need the addresses to be solid. Um, the address data really does need to be close to perfect, if not perfect. And we need to have names for every single one of those addresses. Stuff like the contact, um, you know, it, that's like, that's essentially additional data. The number, the email address, if you have any other columns in here that are specific to these companies. Um, those will, will associate with your customer, um, but it's fine if they have gaps in them. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's something that you can fill in later if, if you need to. Um, and this is really kind of, you know, my quick primer on how to fix a spreadsheet that, you know, uh, has some issues. Um, if you have any other issues with, uh, with working with your data and uploading to us, don't hesitate to email us or give us a call. Uh, we're more than happy to help you get started. And if you haven't yet, uh, go sign up on our site for a free trial and see how we can take the pain out of outside sales and field service for you.